Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we overrid the two, is it overrid? We overrode? We overrided the two string method so we could easily console.write line and get a, an appropriate value for an object. Well, I wanna override another method and that is the equals method. So let's go through an example of that. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So let's go into our class and we're going to kind of this, this output, we basically did that in the previous video, so we don't really need that. Let's get rid of that, clean it up just a little bit, and we're going to do another override here. So we'll say public override, and then you can choose equals. So the way this works is it's an instance method, so you're gonna call it on a particular object. So let's just show you how it would be called. You would say something like user.equals, and you would pass in another object right here the equals method will then logically compare these to see if they contain what would be considered the same thing. So this is going to return a Boolean, so it's gonna be able to be used inside of an if statement real easily, or you could just console right line it and see if it outputs true or false. So let's do that. We'll cut this and paste it here. And what are we gonna pass in here? Well, let's actually create another user now, I'm gonna be super careful with the names here. I'm actually gonna replace this user with me. So I'll create one for me and then I'll create one for you. Uh, and then we'll just say me.equals. Now you're gonna be called you and create a new user. And then we'll just say you.firstname. And for first off, we'll just give the same values. Okay. And we're gonna pass in you and see what we get. And we get some kind of um, not correct stuff. Uh, I think the issue is because we deleted a method earlier and we're having an error come from somewhere calling it. So yeah, inside of this print users, we're doing that user output. So we'll just change this uh, to string. And if you didn't have this code right now, then don't even worry about it. Just, just for you guys following along from the beginning, you wanna make sure you have this working just right, so. And we don't even need the two string again, I forgot, so we'll just get rid of that. All right, back to what I was talking about. Let's just comment out this for just a moment and just see the default behavior. So we're not going to use the override, we're just going to look at this right here with me dot equals you. And you can see the result is false. So now let's make this true since we both have the same values here. And the reason it's false is because it's comparing objects to see if they're the same entity, but they're not because we created two new users. So inside of the user class, all we gotta do is uncomment this and do some kind of comparison that either returns true or false. Now, how do we reference each object? Well, since this is defined as an instance method, we can access the, the full name here directly, and then we can use obj.fullName <laughs> for the other object. So another thing is I commented this out a second ago, but it probably would have worked because we have base.equal. So it would have done the, the normal comparison anyways, but uh, whatever. So let's try something. We'll just say if full name is equal to obj.fullName. And you see it doesn't actually show up. So what's the deal? Well, the parameters actually of type object and the type object does not have a property called full name. And then we can cast this to a user by prefacing it with parentheses like so. Still no lackey, no. Okay, so the reason this is not working is because we can't convert a property <laughs> to type user. So I need to convert the object to type user and then call full name on it. Mm, that was a little tricky, but I got it figured out. Now, if these are equal, then we will return true. Otherwise, we will return, uh, you don't even need the else, you can just return false. It's the only other option. 
Okay, so that was a little complicated, but I think I figured it out. So let's clear this and let's run it. All right, we get a warning. You can read about that if you want, if you can even see it. It's like really hard to read. So it wants us to override get hash code too, but psh, I don't really feel like it. So I'm just gonna do override the equals and the, yeah, deal with it. All right, but you see we get the value true. So it seems to be working. Now there are some other things you can do to make this better. So in the docs, there's all kinds of examples of doing type checking just to see if they're even reasonably comparable because you don't have to pass in a, a user, right? Because this is of type object. So I could go in here and I could pass in a five, an integer. There's no compiling errors there. I could pass in a string that works too. So it's probably safe to do a little bit of type, uh, type checking on the inside because everything inherits from object everything can be passed in and it's legal because everything technically is an object so ultimately you can see that we're both the same person because in our code i create me i create you i check for equals and we are so yeah that's all i got for you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out